Take your parts from issue 49 and just take the lower sections from the lower wing section and just test fit and you'll notice there's a couple of pins that these go on to. Do exactly the same with the other one. Okay. Once you've done that, get your CA glue, super glue ready and apply a little super glue to these areas and then fit those into position. Once you've done that, take your rear wing assembly from previous stages and the rear lower wing that we've just made up and we're going to be fitting that to the bottom of the wing. You'll notice there's a couple of pins here that stick out. Notice the orientation, the way that that goes. Just gently prise the wing apart and drop that into position like so and then Take four of your little screws, the smaller screws that came with this pack, and then just gently screw those into position like so. Okay, do the same for the other three screws, and then we're going to be fixing this to the chassis. Take your wing, take the rear of the chassis, and you'll notice just at the bottom here, how this is going to sit on these sections here, here and here. So take your wing, just place that into position, into the location pins, and then with the four remaining screws that came with this issue, we're going to be attaching those through the bottom securing the rear wing to the chassis. Now stage 50 is a repeat of the hub carrier from the previous stage so quite simply fit all the components, the ball screw and the bearings and then we're going to be attaching that to the main chassis. Now take the rear hub assembly that you've just assembled and take your chassis and note the orientation when we put this on. Now you've got the number here, number one, that when you place it in to the hub like so, making sure that the number one is facing you. Okay, once you've done that Take the shaft, place that through the shaft and then tighten that up. Okay. Now we're not going to attach the top wishbone straight away. Reason being is, is because we've got the shaft, drive shaft that's got to come in on a later assembly. Now have your components ready for this stage and your rear chassis and take your wheel shaft and just place that through like so. Okay. Now you should notice that obviously the pin is sitting through the top so take the pin put it through the hole, just rotate it slightly and then with the washer with the two recesses pop that, just adjust it so that goes on there and then take your wheel nut and then just pop your wheel nut on. Okay, like I said we're not going to pop the top wishbone down because we've got the shaft that's going in at a later stage. Take your drive shaft and then place that into the gearbox assembly. Bring up your rear of your wheel assembly, rear wheel assembly, and we're going to just just going to 
pop that in like so and that completes this part of the stage.